NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Frank, the par fives here at Bay Hill so important. What's the 12th like? 570 odd yards. Uh, Tiered high, let it. Well, when he goes after, he is here. Grab the fire extinguisher. Put out the. That ball is on fire. It's melting going through the air. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Oh, nice little bounce forward. Should be close to 300, 290. It is the house that Arnold built, the Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Arnold's summer home is actually in western Pennsylvania, La Trobe Country Club. That's where he grew up. He came to central Florida in the 1970s and fell in love with this piece of ground. He bought it and he's grown it ever since. And now it is host to one of the premier stops on the PGA Tour. Big, strong golf course. You have to really be a good ball striker and generally one of the longer hitters to be successful around here. So after the layup, Frank, here at the par 5, 12, hit shot here, try to make birdie. Yeah, just use the contours of this green. Uh, you can actually get to this flag a lot of different ways. Uh, using one of the mounds, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. That's, so yeah, that's almost a guarantee there after that shot. And getting ready for the putt. That birdie gets the player to red figures, one under for the turn. 13th hold is where the action is right now. Let's take you there. As we check in on this early round action, we join our featured golfer already playing well to this point. A couple of low numbers on the scorecard. Yeah, it uh, looks very good. Good swings out there and uh, some good putting as well. That is tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a lie like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Just an incredible shot. That is a very makeable putt after a great approach. Well played. And this would be nice. Two straight birdies. You get the sense now with that birdie that our young star so explosive is setting himself up for a big weekend run. Frank, as we come to the 14th of par three, what's ahead for the players? Once again, another tough par three coming up. A narrow at the front. It gets a little wider the further you go up this green. This is a good looking shot. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. That's that sneaky distance. Oh. Well, the time is now to start making birdies, and there we go. One on the board and suddenly inside the top 20. Yeah, nothing to be ashamed of than that. But uh, really, you've got to be aggressive from here on in. Frank, deep in the round at the 15th, you need to maybe make something happen. How difficult is that with such a huge dog like here? Once again, make sure you know the distance to carry the bunker or run out. You've got to play to your strength. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. 
Oh, I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. Frank, what are you looking to do with this approach shot here at 15? Anytime the flag's on the front, uh, Rich, it's basically green light special. When the flag starts to get pushed towards that back area of that green, it starts to get narrower and narrower and narrower. And that's where you've got to be a little careful. That will be a great look at birdie. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. That might go unnoticed, Rich, but that birdie, just sneak inside the top 15. So that concludes round one. Frank, what's the mindset after this first day? Well, the important thing is uh, just try and play smart, get a feel for the golf course. That's what you try and do on the opening round. And now that the players have seen it, we should see some better scores tomorrow. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's second round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. We're at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge in Orlando, Florida, site of one of the PGA Tour's premier stops, the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Always attracting a great field, and through the years, it has been the scene of just some championship play from one guy in particular. Tiger Woods has won there an incredible eight times. Beautiful day here at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge in Orlando, Florida. The great weather. And Frank, how do you get off to a great start here on the back nine? Trying to avoid those three bunkers, two on the left, one on the right. But it's one of the few holes that moves to the right. So if you can just smoke one over that right bunker, just a sand iron in there. Looks to be a good setup going into the green here at the 10. See if our featured player can do something right today. Yeah, when you swing in well, obviously, target looks as, as big as a barn. But on days like today, everything looks difficult. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Nice. Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Frank starting to make the move. Leaderboard very volatile at the moment, so a lot of move in that middle piece of the leaderboard. Top 20 so far. Another par four here, the 11th. It's just under 440 yards. This time, there's water looming left, and then bunkers on the right-hand side. It's a pretty good challenge, Frank. This hole is very similar to the third hole uh, on the front side. Two bunkers down the right side. Just got to keep though, keep it a little left. You don't have to hit driver here. Well, those are good numbers right there. 3-2-0. 320 yards. Just crushed it in the fairway. Frank, another good hole to par for 11th. Looking at the second shot now. Yeah, the second shot has a similar look to the second shot at the third hole at Bay Hill. Water all down the left-hand side. That has to be respected. And a green, really, where you've got to favor the right side, or at least right of middle. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. 
Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Frank, not just a player, but an artist. Just beautiful work right there. The only thing I can say, Rich, is that was Sevi-esque. Locked in on the read and the speed. Goes to six under par for the tournament. What a display of golf. Five shots off. Seeing it up here on the 12th, 574-yard par five, Frank. Another one that's reachable, obviously long and straight. That rough down the right side, though, is normally very thick. Uh, avoid the two bunkers, lots of contours and undulations around the screen. Oh, that's fine. Back in 1971, Frank, Arnold Palmer won the event that was eight years before he actually became the host. Beat one of the sweet swingers in the game, Julius Boros, by a shot. Yeah, Julius Boros is certainly a name to remember and a rhythm that everybody would like to copy. But, uh, you know, in the mid-'70s, Arnold was just prolific. And uh, he, uh, he grew to really love and savor his own event. Once he put his name on it, the event just simply grew in stature. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Now his third, staring right at the green. On the green, and the chance for birdie. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, I want to get some in the top ten. At the par four, 13th now. And Frank, what's the key here? Really avoid those three bunkers, Rich. You don't want a fairway bunker shot over water for your second shot. Like the looks of this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it. New member of the 300-yard club. Good poke right there. Par 4, 13. Frank, how do you hit this approach shot? Rich, it's the first par four at Bay Hill where the water is actually on the right of the green, um, and that has to be taken into consideration. Just a little errant shot, and then you're going to be wet. So a little left of the flag, that's where you want to be. I mean, that's how the game is played, right there. Yeah, oh, he's just making it look so easy. That birdie coming up, formality. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice birdie on this hole yesterday. Just continuing to play some really good golf. Eight under par for the championship. Right now to the 14th of par three, and how difficult is this hole? Once again, very narrow entry into the green. So ideally, you want to fly the ball a little higher than normal, make it soft, make it land a little softer. That should be pretty good right there, on the safe side. Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. Second shot.
Solid play, heart of the green. Off the pin. That is a solid par putt right there. Frank, the 15th, kind of a fun golf hole if you can curve your ball. I mean, that's a huge dog leg to the right, isn't it? It's much easier if you're a right-hander if you cut it down here. If you don't cut it, then make sure you don't run out down that left side. He's going for a little extra. Excellent looking shot here. Smoked that one. Interesting with the almost space age advancements in golf equipment, what with new lighter materials and with the increased focus on fitness and strength, players are hitting the ball longer than ever. That has forced architects to lengthen the golf courses without sacrificing the integrity or the shot value of the original design. That is an excellent play right there. The approach giving him another good look. Trying to make yet another birdie. That is some good work right there. Birdie and one shot closer to the lead. Frank, right where you want to be at the midway point of a tournament. Yeah, you know your game's solid. Um, the focus is more on the leader and that you can just go out and play. You know, excellent position to be in. Two shots off the lead. 